Do you remember when, on your third time ever playing tennis, I put you on the wall? Do it again. Good. Mm -hmm. Those are crazy, right? It was maybe a little bit too fast. Yeah. You weren't quite ready for the wall, but no, yet to, you mastered it because you're so gifted for tennis. You were able to rally on the first time on the wall. Then remember, I got a little bit, um, let's say, overconfident, and I tried to teach you to slice. Remember that day when I teach you to slice? Backhand slice. slice. Remember that? I think you did. I remember that. Really? And we were even recording. I was trying to teach you the backhand slice. But you didn't post the video, that's why. Well, it was a disaster, remember? Oh, yeah. It went very wrong. Yeah. It was very bad teaching. And so this would have gotten negative views. Oh, so you didn't put it. Huh? I didn't post it because it didn't work. Mm -hmm. My instructions didn't work. I realized then that it was too early for slice. But, you know, I'm very competitive with myself. I want to teach to the best possible ability that I have. So I would like you to try to teach you the slice today again. Also, the slice is something that uh, will land on the territory of your enemy. <laughs> what do you mean? And, and As will a... go elsewhere. So, oh. so it, it, what it, the you... purpose of the slice is unpredictability of the ball. You're talking about side spin. No, like when they do this. Here, I'll show you. See, stand around the baseline. Okay. I'll show you the different types of slices. What's the purpose of the slice? The purpose of the slice, Anna, is to take the pace out of the ball and give your opponent nothing to work with. Exactly, that's what I said. I'm oh, that's what you said? It lands and well, it I goes think what, I, what, see, what you mean is side spin. That's different from slice. It's, oh, yeah. a, it's a form of slice, which is called side spin. We're not going to learn that. Okay. that. We're not going to get crazy today, okay? It's crazy enough we're attempting to, to, to learn a slice so early on and side spin we'll leave for later. But side spin is this, watch, this side spin. See the ball? Right, right. See how the ball jumps yes, to the side? I hate those. Okay, receiving end. so at the recreational level, these are all accidental. Uh -huh. Nobody's intending to do that. They're accidentally happening. And uh, at the high level, you'll see it sometimes where players will intentionally do this. But what you have to learn, which is a good shot, to have is an underspin backhand, which is a one-handed backhand. That's why it's going to be so tricky today, because you have a two-handed backhand. So this one I want to teach you to do with one hand, even though you could hit it with two hands too. And we'll test that out. But it's a one-handed backhand slice. And the advantage is, watch, watch this, Anna. You see how low that ball is? Yeah. You see the second bounce? Yes. Now your opponent will have to bend super low, and okay. the chances of them missing increase dramatically because of that, especially at the recreational level, because most players will go hit a little bit too hard when the ball is so low. They'll have to hit way up on the ball, and they very often hit long because of it. Tennis? Yeah. George. George. So it's his bread and butter. The first one slice. you showed. Yeah. The slice? The first one was slice, right? The side spin. Side spin. Okay. He does it all the time. It's so hard to... It drives you crazy. Yeah. So we say, if we survive George, then we are good. Let's just... Well, you know, what's, you know what's great about today's lesson? Yeah. Not only am I going to teach you how to play the slice, but I'm also going to teach you how to defend the slice. Oh. Both ways. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to slice the tons of balls to you, and you're going to learn how to play those balls. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get started so with... the it's a backhand slice. You can do a forehand slice too, but we're not going to do that because oh, okay. you, know, you don't really need a forehand slice. But the backhand slice, because you have two hands, you have a little bit less reach. It sometimes comes in handy to have a slice if you're on a defense or if you get a super low ball. Again, you have less range of motion with two hands. The racket is a little bit shorter. You have less reach, so it's more convenient to, for extremely low balls to slice them. So it's a good shot uh, to have in your repertoire. But let's go, we're gonna start really slowly. Let's go up to the net, right there. Go up to the net. High to low is the key, because when you go high to low, that imparts underspin. High, 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 to, high low. to low. So if I go, look, if I go high to low, watch what happens to the ball. See how it spins this way? You see that? Yes. That's underspin. Okay. So if I hit the ball like this, if I go high to low, I get underspin. Okay. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. All right, Anna. Do you remember our viral video? Yes. That was a crazy video, right? You yes. did so well right off the bat. Uh -huh. It was, an, it was yeah. like a magic, okay. magical training session. So good that people thought we were lying. Yeah. They said you were an advanced player. Uh -huh. Now remember what we did in that lesson? We started from the contact. Don't take the racket. See, as soon as you start going back, you lose control. Yeah. So I want you to just get a good feeling for the ball. So you're going to start as close to the contact as possible. So this is the contact here. I want you to start very close to the contact. When you start going back all the way here, Keep, keep holding the racket, you're going to get disconnected from the ball. It's going to be very difficult, difficult right. to control it. So you start here and just think about what's going to happen from the contact 
to the finish, okay? There it is. And you see how you're making pretty much all the shots right now. Beautiful job. Yes. Remember that? We started from the contact and yes. just finished. We're going to do the exactly the same thing on the slice. Yes. The mistake I did when I was teaching the slice the last time, we started a little bit too high and made too much of a backswing, uh -huh. which made the contact very impossible. Right. Right? So now we're going to get rid of this area here. We're going to start here, very close to the contact. We're going to slice from here. Watch. Okay. Here, and we're going to slice from here. Okay. And I guarantee you, you're going to start making contact. Okay. <laughs> All right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guaranteed it. I know you're still taking it back. Don't take it back. Start here, okay. start here, and just mm -hmm. cut it from there. Here we go. There you go, Anna. <laughs> Come on. This is crazy slices you're doing right now. You see this? <laughs> yes. Here we go. There it is. Anna, you see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm shortening the backswing. I'm making you more aware of the contact. Okay. Now here's, <laughs> Anna, listen. One pitfall of this shot is what a lot of these guys that you play against do is they use the wrist yeah. and now yeah, you get yeah. all kinds of accidental stuff mm -hmm. happening right so don't come in like this here uh -huh. keep the wrist stable watch oh, got it. keep the wrist stable here okay. like show me the strings as you're finishing show the strings to the other side uh -huh. here we go no backswing Anna you're doing the wrist a little bit in the front a bit, yeah. still a little bit of wrist Okay, what I want you to do is this. As you're finishing, have the tip of the racket towards there. Not forward, this way. See, tip of the racket needs to be towards the outside as you're finishing, like this. Yes. All right? Mm -hmm. No backswing. We're, we're going to shorten the back part of the stroke and therefore allow you to really feel the contact a lot better. Don't take the racket back. You see what happens immediately you frame it. I oh, know that was a very bad move right there. Okay. Yeah, here yeah. we go. Short to the contact and hit it. No good. What do you think? Terrible. Well, it was all frame, right? Yes. It was all like wrist and like elbow and all, all that. Watch. Again, hold it. Mm -hmm. Start very close to the ball and go like that. You see that? Mm -hmm. See how clean that is? That's all you got to do. Okay. It's a smaller motion than I think. Well, right now we're going to make it extra small. Don't play with the wrist. Come on. All right, Anna, here, watch this. Here, I'm going to stand behind you. Elbow me. Elbow me in the back. Elbow me. Oh Hit God. me with the elbow. Come on. Hit like me. This? Yeah. Come on. Hit it a little harder. Ow. Oh okay, not with the racket. Go again. Hit me with the elbow. There you go. Like That's this? what. With the elbow. This is your elbow. Well, I'm afraid of Come on, afraid. just hit it. There you go. Hit me with the elbow. All right, now, when you hit your slice, okay. I want you to think about getting the elbow across. Elbow across. Mm -hmm. No take back. All right, but why is it still so flimsy and wristy? You're going like, no, okay. don't do that. No wrist movement, just elbow. You know who Roger Federer is? Yeah. You heard about him, right? I've heard. They asked him once to give a tip on the slice. And he said, it's all about the elbow. That's what Roger said. Okay. And I was first confused by that because it's really not about the elbow. Because if you like extend the elbow into the slice, you sh shorten the range of motion after the contact and it ends up looking like, like this. It looks really stiff. Mm. But I know what he meant. He's accelerating with the elbow across the body. So when you are imagining the stroke, like what it feels like to hit it, it does feel like you're using the elbow. So while you're not necessarily like extending or or bending after the contact, you're not actively doing any type of this movements here with the elbow, you are leading the way with the elbow. So I want you to think about that. Okay. You know what the elbow is? Yes. It's this thing right here. Okay? <laughs> yes. So you go like this, watch. You lead with the elbow right here. Yes. That's what Federer said. Okay. This guy is the best. Here we go. All right, wow. Why so crazy hard? Do it slowly. Okay. Do two miles an hour. There you go. Two miles an hour because remember like any other shot when you accelerate fast you have less control over what's happening mm -hmm. to your stroke okay here we go i do it again slowly better i want the, the speed limit right now in your slice is two miles an hour 
If you go over two miles an hour, you're in big trouble. Here we go. Good. And again. Anna, you're hitting slices. You understand what's happening yes. now? This is absolutely insane. Is good? Very good. <laughs> Very good. Anna, this is crazy right now. <laughs> insane. Anna, I'm proud of you. This is, this is absolutely crazy what you're doing right now. Right. Now you understand that like five minutes ago when we first started, you were like framing every single one. <laughs> <laughs> right? And now you see how they're going that nicely. All right, now let's back it up to the service line. Now naturally, when you, as you start backing up in the court, uh, the take back will need to increase. So, from here? yeah, but that's going to happen naturally. You're still going to... I'm afraid it's not going to be over the net since It's going to happen naturally. So you still start here, close okay. to the ball. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Don't play with the wrist. Come on. Put the racket a little, bit, a little higher. Just a little bit here. Okay. Do it again. Anna? <laughs> it's okay. You have a little bit of forehand grip too. Go on a continental. There you go. Remember, if you go... The more you go towards the forehand grip on the slice, the more the racket face opens up naturally. So the more chances you have to hit it with the frame. So while it is possible to slice with the eastern forehand grip, it's going to be number one, a lot of underspin that's not always good because it slows the ball weight down too much. It lets it sit up too high and also you have the chance of hitting the frame. So continental grip on the slice is the best. That was a little better, leave with the elbow. Anna, this is a beautiful slice, yes. And are you looking at all where the ball is going or? No. Why not? <laughs> Follow the ball. Look where it's going. I mean, okay. you're going to have an opponent on the other side. So don't like hit and then keep staring that way. And make it a little bit more realistic. I'm just looking at you. <laughs> I understand. I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> you haven't seen me for a while? Yes. Okay, yeah, I've been gone. I've been in Germany. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Anna, that's too wristy. I don't like too it. Too wristy. Yeah, I felt it. You just kind of scooped it with the wrist. Yep. I like it. Leave with the elbow. Come on. Anna, it's too wristy. Too wristy? Yeah. Slow it down. You're going too hard now. Slow down. Anna, it's, it's like you are getting a little bit of slice because you're going down, but like you're too loose here. Remember, not here, here. Tip of the racket towards the okay, outside. Got you got what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. now look how high you were going though. Don't yes. go that high. Stay close to the ball. You'll feel the contact much better. That is excellent. Do me one more and then we'll go all the way back. All right. Let's go all the way to the baseline. Actually, give is me one. Is doing what it's supposed to do? Absolutely. Yeah. I still did a lot. Now, give me one more. Come a little closer. Too loose no, right no. here. And it opened up in the shoulder. Okay. Well, you can open up a little bit. I don't mind that. That's okay. But I opened this way. That's fine. I don't mind that. That's okay to do. It's okay to go like this a little bit. But what you got to avoid is snapping here with the wrist right. all right best slice of your life yeah unbelievable that was good yeah i felt it do you see the difference yeah. how the ball stayed low all right now we back up to the baseline what should i do to, to be able to get over the net from this distance excellent question now we're not going to be able to get away with this we don't have enough swing momentum exactly. not exactly. enough so now we're going to have to go back a little bit okay naturally uh what happens with players it starts happening on its own that's why I like doing these progressions, yes. Oh, so you've been seeing. So, I... so let's, just, let's just continue to stay here and see if you do it by yourself without <laughs> forcing it, okay? It's okay, come again. Your racket face is too open. Too so, open? Yeah, so if you hit the slice with an extremely open racket face, you'll hit the ball too thin, <clears throat> like this, you see this? So you gotta close that racket face. Again, continental grip helps tremendously with that. There, here we go. Anna? That's a slice. Nah. Leave with the I elbow. Lost the game. Leave with the elbow. It's okay. What is the elbow? Leave with the elbow. What is the elbow? This I is. forgot the game. No. <laughs> okay, yes. So, in other words, it's don't bizarre. allow this to happen yeah, here. What's happening? Yeah, this. So it keeps the, it keeps this protected, in a way. Yeah. It keeps the here. Look. It's just the, like messing up with me. The distance is longer, so I feel like I have to send it there with this opening. Well, maybe we're, we're, we um, went to the baseline a little too early. It's quite possible it's that we have to... Me? Yeah, 
yeah. that we have to stay on the service line a little bit longer. It's possible that we're, we're going to test these four, but it's very possible we're progressing a little too fast. But you see how it can mess up with me, right? Because we're increasing the distance. Not just like... you, not just you, everyone. Okay. Because with bigger distance, you have to swing a little faster. Anytime you swing faster, you lose control over what's happening around the contact. Mm -hmm. That's why when you're building strokes, hitting slowly at first is huge because you can feel what's going on much more. And you have more control over it as well. I'll do it again. All right. You know what? Let's back up. Let's let's take a step back and we'll go we'll go between the service line and the baseline. We'll go three quarter right here. Yeah. We'll try from here, okay? Oh my goodness! Was it good? The best slice I've ever seen from you. <laughs> that was sick right there. But it didn't go through. It was millimeter millimeter too low. Here we go. Tip of the racket to the outside, Anna. I know you made that one, but I didn't like the technique. Here we go. Use that left hand, Anna. The left hand will can support your racket. Otherwise, your arm is going to feel super heavy. You hold the racket by the throat here as you're uh, preparing to start the stroke. Anna! Was it good? Did you see it? Yeah. Because you keep looking that way. Elsewhere. You saw that? I saw the trajectory. It was, yeah. It's a slice. Anna! That's it? Yeah. All right, now. You did a fantastic job today, Anna. This is crazy what you did. You learn slice. Yeah. Now it's not match ready by any means. We have to practice it a lot. But yeah. here's what I want to try. I want to try one more thing. We're not ready to go to the baseline yet. We realize that. It's too difficult right now. Yes. Maybe even this is too far back. I want you to practice slices from the service line. Mm -hmm. And I want you to get inside the service line a little bit and do it off my feet. I'm going to feed it to you and you're going to try to slice it, okay? Without dropping on the floor? No, it's going to drop on the ground. Good. And I turn sideways a little more. Turn sideways. Yeah, turn sideways. Hold on. Come a little closer. Beautiful job, Anna. That's the slice. A little high, but it's okay. I like it. A little too thin. Close that racket face. Okay. Spinning. We're spinning a lot. That's underspin. Anna, wonderful slice. Go a little bit more towards the middle. Go again. Not bad. I want one that's kind of low. It's a little high there. Anna, wow. Wow. Are you kidding me? You don't know it was good? It was the best slice I've ever seen you hit. Okay, okay. By far, the best slice of your life. That's cool. Anna, this is actually quite an amazing thing that happened today. I didn't think it would be possible, but I was able to teach you the slice. You know what made the biggest difference? Controlling the contact, being aware of the contact, not starting too far back here, because then as you accelerate, you kind of lose what's supposed to happen here. But being closer to the contact, I think you got the hang of what a slice is all about. Yeah. You know, trying to go high to low on the ball. Mm -hmm. Biggest problem that you have, is the wrist is very active. We can see this the, the way you're finishing. That's gonna take some practice. We're gonna to have to keep working on that. And, um, but having said that, there was an amazing improvement. In just a few minutes, you were able to get some nice slices today. Mm -hmm. All right, great job.